That's kind of what it sounds like. It's just another video game podcast, episode 19, for the week of January 21st to January 27th. That's not a full week, but hey, let's hey, it's hey, flying by. I'm Jeremy. Joining me Go is, ahead. as always, Brennan Tyler. Woo! Plus one, we have our good friend Dean has joined us again. Hey, guys. He's How's back. it going? No one can see you wave. It's an audio From podcast. Space. I, I still got a wave. You can feel <laughs> the wave. Saw it. Okay, feel it. I've been guys blocking the sound vibrations <laughs> on their way to the mic. We could describe his hand in the motion and everything. And then it was elegant. It was quite elegant. Thank you, guys. So, Dean, how you been since last time uh, you joined us? I've been really good. Been playing a lot of video games. Been buying Ooh. way too many games on Steam. Wait, you like video games? Not really. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh. You've been playing you've been playing a game though. Yeah, I right? have and I cannot wait to talk about it. Let's go ahead and just just, just dive right in. Uh well okay, well <laughs> if we're gonna do the uh what have you been playing segment, I'd yes. like to start that was off the idea. <laughs> with a game called Tattletale. Have you guys oh, heard of this? Yeah, I've heard about, I heard about this I one. I've yeah. not heard about this. So in Tattletale it takes about two hours to beat this game. Is this the Furby game? Yes, yeah. the Furby game. Oh wait, is I think I saw this on Steam. It's on Steam, right? Yeah, I got yeah. it on sale, and you want to get it on sale because you're gonna beat it in an hour, <laughs> two hours to get everything. Is it kind of like Five Nights? Uh, it has that feeling, yeah, because you know. Yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, because okay. you've got a, you got a, you're a, a kid. I don't think anybody's gonna worry about me spoiling this game so you're a child you wake up five nights before christmas you got to open your present early and it's a tattletale furby clone and then there's a mommy furby tattletale clone later that tries to murder you in the basement or anywhere else in the house or outside it's play hide and seek with these things. <laughs> That's so <laughs> creepy. And yeah, there's yeah. one weird dynamic to the game that will stress you out beyond belief. You got these meters on the top left of the screen, and it's your battery power, how how much uh, energy you have left. You have to feed the thing, and you have oh. to brush its hair. <laughs> so you have to like run it out of battery. You have to rush to the basement and sit it on the charging station. All the while, Mama's trying to kill you, and. It is. It is are you, are you freely robot. moving through this? Through yeah, it's a, okay. it plays like an FPS, but okay. but you okay. just you just click and hold items and try not to get murdered. It's, I mean, I do that every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely worth playing. Yeah. The world's crazy. <laughs> uh, no, but that that sounds pretty creepy, though. Is yeah. it like a lot of jump scares? Uh, it is, but nothing like uh, Resident Evil Seven. Yeah, have you been playing that? that? I have. Is anybody Please else been do not this? say anything about it. I haven't gotten to no, play it yet. Well, I mean, a, I mean, I mean, I'm just we have on the show right now. Don't spoil. There's, there's evil. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best not to spoil it. But how about how about I heard you? It's not very long. You can talk about like I don't know. I don't know. I I haven't played it, so I can't really say. Try to be vague. No, yeah, for, it's for it's easy. I mean, I can describe the feeling of the game and give and make you totally wet with anticipation because <laughs> it is amazing. Because I've heard parts of the beginning, so that what like, happens in the game doesn't matter. What what matters is you. It's it plays like a first person shooter, but it's really slow, and it is genuinely scary. The first time I got a jump scare. I yelled, oh shit, <laughs> at 1.30 a.m. or so, the night it was released. And I'm, I'm playing this in the best possible way, too, because I usually play at the PC. I've got the Steam Link hooked up. We're doing renovations in the living room, so I took the t really big TV off the mantle, put it down. I'm sitting right in front of this TV, <laughs> and uh, I got the Steam controller, so it's kind of easy to play, but... Um, yeah, I mean, cat. Okay. Yeah, it is uh, absolutely fantastic. When you really get into it, you feel like it's a total reboot of the series. <laughs> but once you start Resident playing Evil. it, you're gonna fall into all the tropes of the Resident Evil games. I was gonna say there's there's some stuff I read online was like I didn't necessarily read into it because I didn't want to get spoiled, but I was seeing a bunch of things of people being like. Yeah, I had to quit playing. It's too scary for me. Yeah, it's too scary. 
yeah, fuck this game. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. I made the mistake the other day, uh, yesterday. I was playing it at the desk at 5.30, 6 p.m. or something, and there's this door. I'm like, I know something's going to get something's me on the other happen. side of that yeah, door. Right the damn game tricked me. Door. It was right before I got to the door. I yelled, <laughs> I yelled oh, shit. And stuff fell off my monitor and slammed on the floor, and then everybody came into the office. What's wrong? What's wrong? And I just started laughing. I'm like, you guys don't even know. And then my two uh, two of my kids are in there like, Daddy, are you okay? And what, this is not a spoiler, but what I'm fighting goes, I'm going to kill you, you cocksucker! Damn. I'm like, guys, get out. Get out. Get out of here. This is daddy time. And you cannot hear this. No, but seriously, like I... Add, oh, they've heard that word before. As many games as I've played, I didn't think it was possible to look at a two-dimensional plane and get scared by a game. Is literally scared me shitless. Or for a Resident like a Evil game to be scary again. Yeah. It, they, would you it. say it's the scariest game you've played? Absolutely. I've never played a game nearly You're as scary. You're not playing VR. I'm not. I'm afraid. I, tried, I don't I, want to. I was going to say, I tried to demo VR at Jeremy's place with uh, Switch Reveal. I uh, wish he, he would have got to see kitchen. it. He played yeah, through the, the kitchen. kitchen. Okay, yeah. But I just remember at one point where I was just like, Oh God! Yeah, I just remember like the VR set stuff almost coming off because I got so scared I just like jumped. There's back. something behind me. <laughs> That's the thing that upsets me though about the game is I was prepared on launch day or around that area to go buy an HTC Vive to play the game, but yeah. Sony has exclusive. Yeah, it's only on the That's right. Right, and there's no sign of it being like a timed exclusive. It's just no. outright an exclusive. Right? Yeah, I I heard I somewhere so. yesterday that they have a one year. That's the rumor going yeah. around, but yeah. there hasn't been an official thing for it. It would make sense, but at the same time, that that sucks. Yeah. Like it does suck, especially since Vive would be the best way to play it because it's the highest resolution VR headset you can get. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, it's still an incredible piece of art that you can experience on any headset, but that would be the optimal way to do it. But anyway, I'm too scared to do it anyway. So. <laughs> I don't that's, want to. <laughs> that's one thing that worries me about that is that I've got I've got the PSVR. I really want to get. It. I actually have the game pre-ordered. I just haven't picked it up because I'm I don't know if I actually want to pick it up or if I want to just use that money and put it on a Switch game coming up. Yeah. Like I'm at I'm at a point right now where I'm just trying to burn through everything I have in my backlog in anticipation for Zelda, basically. Um, and just to pay for the new stuff, I don't really want yeah, to spend extra money on it. Pay for stuff. But <laughs> I I heard some things on a podcast. Every podcast I listened to this week has been talking about it. So yeah. I've heard a lot of things about it. But one in particular, someone was talking about. There's a point where they were playing it with the VR, and they could see it out of the corner of their eyes. There's there's something that it's just waiting for you to look at it. Like I know, and it's like it, <clears throat> it's one of those things where you know in the game it expects you you're going down a, a certain way and you turn a corner. And it's like, then they'll like, it's supposed it's, to be sort of a, it's not a quite a jump scare, thing. But yeah, it's a scripted scare. And you have to look at it. And you have to look at it. And you can't, and when you're not playing in VR, you can you can look away and cover your eyes. In, the, in VR, it's shot into your eyeballs. The only way you can do it is just literally close your eyes <laughs> and just don't see anything. I can't believe how pathetically scared I am in this I game. Know, like, the thing that scares me most now is this game is going to be so massively successful and bring back the franchise. They're going to make a sequel and improve upon that even more, and I'm going to have to play it. And I'm already scared <laughs> to play that. I hope. so. But it, br it brought back the feelings I had when I bought Resident Evil 4 when it was new for the GameCube. It had this fresh sheen on it, and everything was ultra-realistic. And Resident Evil 4, for the time, yeah. you know, playing oh, it yeah. on a tube TV on a GameCube it was such a crisp, beautiful experience, and that's what you get in this game. It is... Amazing, and the PC port is perfect. That's great. That that's another good thing because you hear that this is something that's on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. A lot of times when that happens, I, even Capcom has not had a good record of putting quality things on PC. Yeah, like, it I've becomes like a Resident Evil game. That. It becomes the way to play it two years down the road. Yeah, but this is thanks day to, one. Thanks to modders, yeah, this is great. Thanks to modders coming up with their own. Except for the Wii version, of there. except for the Wii version of oh, four. So I play with the mouse <laughs> and keyboard, which is like Similar, playing with yeah. the Wii. Yeah, because the Wii yeah, Resident Evil so. Four was just a breeze. With yeah, the, I'm like, what is this? I remember aiming with the C stick, and it was so hard. Mm -hmm. 
It's or or way, holding the R trigger and aiming. I can't remember yeah, how, but like it was I, hard. I've Something heard a lot of people know. this week say, like, well, you know, 4 wasn't really a horror game. And I'm just like, fuck you. I, I played that it on GameCube first. It, it, and was, that game it was, was a survival fuck. horror game. And it was fantastic. There and are moments in that game that make me shit my pants. They just started adding too much action. I mean, there's, yeah, and, the, and it's a good balance in that one, but there's still moments in that game that terrify me. But it's like, I. Oh, yeah. I really don't I want to walk down that hallway. Work. So, Dean, how far do you think you are in the game in seven? Uh, well, I have about six hours in it, and I've heard it's twelve hours long. Sure. So, so I think I'm halfway. I'm probably halfway. I have spent some time just screwing off, looking in drawers and things like that. So, I know there's maybe side things half. that you can do. There's a lot of little side stuff that you can do. And things to find not not to the point of like you know big open world sort of things but it there's feels, little side stuff that you can do from what i've heard it feels pretty linear so far like i you know the task that i just completed was very resident evil it was find the thing put it in the hole yeah. find the other thing find put it in the other head. hole holes in dog the head so i don't want to spoil anything but have you come across the bird cages i'm not to the bird cages okay so. okay so i've heard about the bird cage there's something with bird cages that I just finished not, that with, does, It's not really a spoiler. The bird cages kind of lead into sort of side stuff that you can do. I just okay. finished uh, completing the serum. Okay. So yeah, that doesn't mean anything. You, ha- you have to, you have to pull a, a dead infant's forearm off of its core. Yeah, I just heard this, this one has like a lot more just gore, gore in it. It is disgusting. <laughs> I mean, we, I, I don't. I I fought a woman's vagina in this game. <laughs> I shit like, you not. Was it to like the point of like uh, Dante's Inferno? When, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. When you fight like Satan's uh, dick, basically. You fight, yeah, and you fight. Uh, fuck, is it Cleopatra? I don't recall. I didn't like. I that. You know how she's like <laughs> naked, and you're fighting her boobs, pretty much. Like things are, <laughs> things are coming out of her boobs. Yeah, like everything you need to know about sex, but we're afraid to ask. <laughs> yes. It's weird. Well, the <laughs> thing about Resident Evil is they always have the the virus or whatever, and then it mutates and it comes yeah. out of your body and becomes another thing. Well, this came out of her vagina, and mm-hmm. that's what you have to destroy. Great. <laughs> Great. That's 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 yeah, pretty gory. <laughs> I fight vaginas every day. So where would you rank this? Oh, this is. Uh, am I ranking it out of ten or in I'm the series? In the series of Resident Evil, number, I mean number one. Really, absolutely above number four. one. Above four, wow. and I've played four, just like anyone else has. I, I mean, if you really like it, I've I've played it on. I played four different versions, and I think mm-hmm. there are a lot of people who played it, uh, many more different versions. I yeah. played two PC ports, the GameCube and the Wii, and uh, yeah, this one's absolutely the best. Nice. Wow! All right. Better than Code Veronica? I I can I don't I don't like those Resident Evil games. Resident Evil Four is where Resident Evil started for me, so I think that's it's, where it started and ended for a long time. Then probably. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest with you. I I played Resident Evil on this Saturn, the first one, and then I played again the Dual Shock PlayStation. Version. <laughs> Most people would be like, "Yeah, I mean, I played Resident Evil on the PlayStation." Of course, saying, Dean comes yeah. on. Oh, I played it on the Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> just like, well, I had an extra monster, but I had to do something. <laughs> but I didn't care for Resident Evil Two, which I know everyone loves, and I'm sure it's great. I just I that type of game. Don't and worry. I started with four as well. That's I think that's <laughs> I where it got great for me. And it went five, six. <laughs> Any other games? Uh, a lot more. Of it. Those are the two that are Those definitely are the two notable. worth talking yeah. about. Brian, how about you? Uh, I started a uh, L.A. Noir file. Uh, hey. Why? Because I thought it would be a fun. I actually kind of had fun playing that. I thought it would be a dumb, funny thing For to do with my bit. friend and record. It got recorded. Okay, okay, sure. And sure. it ended up being a dumb, funny thing to do with my friend and record. I don't know. I think we we ended up playing like about four hours of it. Um, game is weird. Mm-hmm. The uh, thing I remember loving the game when it came out. I was I bought into it the when at the first announcement of the game. Yeah. Remember seeing it was like it was not the black and white, but it was like you know the the sepia yeah. tone. Yeah. Uh, thing of the guy chasing someone down a hall or an alleyway and all this stuff and i was just like rockstar's doing this i'm i'm on board uh and then when the game came out was super into it and it's like but now i can look back on it and be like that was a bad game it's <laughs> it's weird and uh i i don't know 
maybe maybe it's, we'd been drinking. Maybe I just didn't <laughs> pick up on like the cues and stuff. <clears throat> oh, the facials. Well, no, no, like, I... I oh, the facials are easy to pick up. I, I just, like, I we only made it into, like, the first couple, uh, like, actual detective missions. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, and so, like, we just kept missing things. And, like, and it wasn't really clear on, like, how to go back at first. We figured out that you could press B and, like, and try again, I guess. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. At, at this point, we were just kind of, like talking like and all like tiffany was on the couch with us too and we were just kind of making fun of it (laughs) and we weren't taking it too seriously but i mean it was kind of fun in a dumb way and you get to just use your 40s voice the whole time yeah it's like hey jonesy how you doing (laughs) (laughs) i love the music on it Uh, yeah the music was was great it's cool smoke 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 that cigarette (laughs) (laughs) Um, like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it. Uh, I mean, I want to try playing more, uh, with him. Like, I figure if I get some more time in with it, I'll actually start putting videos of it up. Um, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Yeah. It's a really weird thing. I mean, at the time, like I said, at the time, everyone was just like, look at this. Look at the technology they're using uh-huh. here. It's like, it's a detective game. It's bringing back ad- point and click adventures. It's like, it's re- it's reimagining what they can I be mean, in consoles. Kind of, you're not really pointing, pointing and clicking everything. You're just kind of walking around until the controller vibrates enough. And yeah. And then you, you bend over and you go, nope, that's a cigarette butt. I can't do anything with that. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. Plus, that game fucks you over. Like, it does? They're... There is a, there's an unsolvable case. Like, literally, you, oh, up until, yeah. like, up until that case, there's ways to figure things out. And you could, like, you can screw something up and all that. But then there's a case where literally you cannot find the right thing because it doesn't give it to you and it basically just fucks you over. It just says, like, yeah, it what, oh, no, it turns out it was this guy that you had no idea and you've never met him and all this. And it's like, yeah. It's it's because I tried to put the pieces the together. On social that one. commentary. And I was on like, I got sometimes him. the cops get things wrong. Well, no, it's it's different because this was like he was really trying. <laughs> yeah, I can't say it was really a social commentary to that. It one. like um, it like leads you up to really keep trying, and then you try on this one mission, and you're like, why did I fucking try? <laughs> it's like, I mean, really, yeah. What was the point of all? Yeah, of what this? was the point of trying? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of shitty. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought it'd be a funny thing to do. Sure. No, there's some. There's. It'd be a good with thing with the photorealism for, of that game. Like, you can get some really funny shit. Yeah, going. that's funny. yeah. Like especially if you're playing with someone, maybe drunk. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's some good commentary. Yeah. Um. It was just a lot of making fun of forty shit, basically. Yeah. Sure. Um. Yeah. I. Uh, I had wanted to uh, try playing Mass Effect because we're both big Star Trek fans. I'm like that'd be kind of a fun thing to do is just sit down and play basically what it's Star Trek. Have it's, you played the Mass Effect games? I have I'm played never. through some of one. Oh, okay. And I want to I want to actually actually play through one, but yeah. You know. But uh I don't have Mass Effect, so I had LA Noir lying around. My brother really my little brother really loves LA Noir. Uh, like at least he did at the time. When so. I when I met my now wife, she had LA Noir, she was playing through it and she was like I remember when we were first starting to date, she said that she really liked it, and then it was only like two months later she hated it. Yeah, like it, it's just that's one of those things. Like I feel like that game does in particular, where it really like pulls you in at first. We're just like, look at this amazing world that we have. It's so much like the '40s and all this stuff. It's it's crazy. We didn't really put a good game in here, but look yeah. at it. <laughs> but look yeah, at I, it. I had a lot of fun just like. Uh, <laughs> driving into people and being like, "Oh, sorry, LAPD yeah. coming through." <laughs> it's okay. Getting, like, out of, <laughs> getting out of my cop car and then going up to other people and going, "I need your car." <laughs> like, but your car just in that. You just hit that lamppost over there. Like you hit me with your cop car. <laughs> nope, I need your car, sir. LAPD. <laughs> I, I mean, I, it was. It's kind of fun just to screw around in. I. I don't know. Maybe I'll get to the point where I hate it too. Maybe if you're not if you're not trying, maybe you won't get to that point. Okay. If you if you're really just having a fun time, like if you can yeah. like, can you just keep fucking up all the cases and still get through the game? No, we got stuff. It, there are certain cases that if you fuck up, it's like game over. Because yeah. then, like, then you start getting into the actual story of like you know, yeah. morphine yeah. and everything. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then there's like, but then I, I don't know. Maybe if you screw up enough, it might just let you skip over. There's parts in there that if you screw up enough, it just yeah. Just like, I'm pretty sure skip there is. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, not really. Right. Uh, no, it's been a busy week, so uh, I didn't really get to much. I was, I've been doing, trying to edit and get other things back and you know, get the uh, get Luigi's apartment back up and running. So. Yeah. yeah, you got the you got those Ninja Turtle that. videos mm-hmm. up on there. And then we have uh, the the Game Boy, uh, the original Game Boy Ninja Turtles game. Yep. Not the original Ninja Turtles game for Game Boy, but the original Game Boy Ninja Turtle game <laughs> okay, okay. on the original Game Boy. <laughs> uh, I think it's the second, technically the second uh, one of those. That's what I was thinking when I watched that, because I played Follow the Foot Clan when yes. I was young. Yes, <laughs> my aunt had that one. And I saw your, you uploaded that video, I'm like, what is this one? What is this it's one? The, I believe it's the one that comes, because it's back from the sewers, so I, I assume Follow the Foot Clan was the first one. That's uh, canon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bam. Tyler, what have you been up to um, this last week? Well... I finally got some a little bit more time into Final Fantasy fifteen because oh. uh, my roommate hasn't been playing it as much now. He got the urge to play League of Legends all of a sudden. Oh, that's a good distraction. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah so he he's been playing that for <laughs> the last couple days. Yeah. And so lately, I've just been like, "Hey, dude, can I uh, use your Xbox? Because it's on his." Mm-hmm. So, and then he just got these new headphones from uh, it was a gift at work. But they're like the Xbox headphones that the like noise cancellation and brings in oh, all the like turtle game beach audio. ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so I've been using that, and it's awesome. Oh, good. <laughs> it's just like, right, headphones when you're gaming changes oh, everything. I, I've never done that. Yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. Um, so I've been doing that a lot. Um, I haven't I haven't put that much more time into it, but what level I mean, were your guys? Eh, it's only like seventeen. I'm oh, like, I'm literally yeah, you, really yeah, at the really beginning. Have, yeah. Um, and then I mean I I got a little more in time into Overwatch for the year of the rooster stuff. And then I had to start playing Pokemon again because Pokemon Bank came out. Right. So uh, I got the Munium Z that you get for it. Uh, so just to be clear, Pokemon Bank came to Pokemon, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yes. So now you can transfer all your Pokemon to that game. Yep. Which yeah, I don't have enough boxes, really. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, Medium Z, what what does that allow you to do again? So well, it gives uh, Mew his Z move. Oh, so, okay, okay. Yeah, all the Pokemon can do a Z move. They're just by the type, and then yeah. there's certain Pokemon that have a specific Z move for them, like Pikachu does. So stuff. can can Mew do anyone's Z move? No, it, it <laughs> can it learn any Z move. No, it's got its own, and then it depends on whatever moves it knows. Okay. So if it knows a normal move, then you can give it the normal Z stone, and then it it can do the normal Z move. Okay. Now there Stuff there like are that. type Z stones, and then yeah, there are that's... like Pokemon specific Z stones. Yeah. Okay. Where like Snorlax has his own. Mm-hmm. And that, but then normal type ones are like the first one that you get. So normal type Pokemon can use that Z stone. Okay. Yep. And that's how that works. Okay. <laughs> um, and I mean, that's. Have you finished? All of it Sun, or you're playing Moon, right? Have you finished it? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm working on Battle Tree right now, trying to get some battle points for. I need a Destiny Knot. I gotta breed. They don't know. I feel yeah. like no. You're at a point. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh. just, uh, well, <laughs> all in one. Breeding's yeah. really in depth now. I've never done any breeding it's... on any Pokemon game. <laughs> Destiny, not if you put it on a Pokemon when you breed, it guarantees at least I think it's three IVs to be passed down. Right, Dean? Yeah. <laughs> To the Pokemon. There, there's random stuff. There's random items you can do. This is when the Snorlax like enters with. the Pikachu. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there are some weird David combos Adam that Rome. you can breed. I, I, Narrating. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's about all I've been playing, though. Hey, all Pokemon are created equal. <laughs> <laughs> all Pokemon nothing, lives it's, matter. It's just nature, man. All you know? Yeah, it's all nature. <laughs> Hashtag all Pokemon. Poke lives matter. Oh, Poke God. lives matter. <laughs> So that's it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, that's mainly what. What? Well, okay, oh, so I tried out Watch Dogs Two because it's free. 
right now. Oh, right. You get three hours free, free on free Steam on right? Xbox. Or, oh, with... Really? What? Yeah. I was thinking EA full Play, game. but that's, that's Ubisoft. Yeah. So, huh, okay. Yeah, I, so if I, you're really efficient, game, you can beat three. that game. Nah. <laughs> no, I doubt it. I, it took me, like, almost an hour just to get past the tutorial part, so... <laughs> But you get three hours of it free. But you, it was the whole game. It was 30 gigs. I was like, damn. I'd, I'd like to play that. Yeah, I've never played a Watch Dogs game. And I was like, why not? I, I bought the first one when it launched digitally and only played it for about an hour. I heard the first That's one... That's how they really get I heard the first one wasn't good, though. I heard the it, second it one... Wasn't it was amazing. amazing. Is I heard it just better. didn't live up to expectations. Yeah, yeah. It That's had a lot of works. hype behind it. And, but I heard the second one, they improved everything. Yeah, they, they, everyone that like plays through the first Watch Dogs and played through the second Watch Dogs says the second Watch Dogs was great in comparison. Uh, and that's not to say, like I said, the first Watch Dogs wasn't bad, yeah. but it was just another open world game. Mm -hmm. It didn't do anything crazy with the hacking like mm -hmm. it promised. The hacking was super basic. Uh, the Pierce's. coolest thing was, yeah, Aiden Pierce just sucked. He was he's just like, boring. The, yeah, like, uh, like uh, uh, he's all cranky and angry, but like really, like his character doesn't make sense for. Like, I I don't remember how to describe well, it. I'm gonna Nick take down those guys that killed my nephew and my sister. My, and I my, need to get my sister, and like you just oh that sounds not so making it any better for your sister. One. By being a yeah, dad. just yeah. just playing through. I like all and I did was the tutorial cat. stuff, and <laughs> that already sounds so different. Like yeah. the characters, the the character on the second one, he's much more laid back and like, yeah, oh, nothing. hey, what's up? You know, like I think Watch Dogs Two <laughs> will probably be one of those games that I pick up Black Friday this year if I can find it. Maybe I'll get it digitally on PlayStation. It's on or sale like right now bucks. too. Yeah, but I don't want to spend like but more than twenty dollars on a game. I think right it's now. like thirty. Yeah, right now. I'm tempted to spend twenty dollars on uh, Doom next time it goes down to twenty again. I, but... I still haven't beat it. <laughs> I still haven't beat it. <laughs> um, I, I told you. Did you check out Pokemon Duel? I oh, I damn was it, downloading I about it. That. So that's <laughs> when I was telling Brian about my phone dying earlier. Oh yeah. I was. I just downloaded it. Oh, so you haven't I was, jumped I, in there? No, yet. I haven't played it. I was. I was like, oh, I can play this game on the walk. Download it. Died. Uh, no, you can't. Um, I guess, I mean, if you're, are you done? I, I'll lead into what Yeah, I'm yeah, playing. I'm done. I played a little bit of Pokemon Duel. Mm -hmm. This was a game that was in Japan, a uh, mobile game in Japan, for, I think, came out sometime last year. I yeah. I remember seeing stuff for it. It only just now came to the States. It is a board game with Pokemon figures that it's free to play, and... Um, the servers are busted. Oh. Right now, it's like, I've played two matches. The first match, and here's the thing. Most mobile games, you want to be able to play a match. Okay, you played a lot of, uh, was it Clash of Clans? Royale. Clash Royale. How, what would you say is the average time for a match? How long it is? Yeah, just to, if you're playing against another uh, character. If I kick their ass, it's done in three minutes. Uh, it did. A full game is three minutes, four minutes if there's overtime. Okay, so, you know, between three to five minutes for that. Yeah. This one match that I did, first match that I ever did against anyone, took me 25 minutes. What? what? Because the game is very slow. Um, it's all about moving your little piece back and forth and, like, trying to... Every time you, like, go up against somebody, you're moving on, like, this little grid board. The goal is to get one of your people to the other side, which is like sort of like it's not quite their spawn point because you can put someone else, but imagine that you're trying to get into their territory, mm -hmm. and it's just one little spot, and you move it around in these little circles, and you each take turns placing a a, a thing down, moving it. It's it has some things like I don't know, maybe like God, I'm trying to think of a game like that. I don't play a lot of board games, but it kind of reminded me of maybe like a fellow in a way. Was it uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh? Duelist of the Roses. I don't know. I never played Damn that. it. I, never played I don't it. know. Was it like that? Tell us. <laughs> yeah, like, tell it. Maybe next week you might know. You can give it a try. But the Wait, is it like, like a two-player Hitman Go or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it plays kind of like a Hitman Go. Oh, like okay. one of those ones where you're moving a piece one at a time 
through these little circles on a line and all that stuff. Does the game take forever, or is the server slow and so everyone's moves take forever? Everything. Oh, both of those. Like okay. the, Ooh. it would literally be like okay. So Combo. the tutorial, <laughs> the opening tutorial took me like twenty minutes. Like getting the game downloaded and just wanted to be like, how's this game played? Yeah. Here's every single thing that it does, and it has to go through all this stuff. The menus are slow, where you'd hit it once and it would just be like sitting there. You'd hit it a couple times before it would really like do anything. It maybe registered the first time, but it didn't load. <laughs> it's it's not a very good game. Oh, um, that's nice. I mean, maybe if they fix the servers, maybe if more people play, maybe if they add more, could be. Give it a shot. You know, maybe, you know, you're a much bigger Pokemon fan than I am. Maybe you'll get into it more. If it takes like 15, 20 minutes, if the servers are mo- are working well, then I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a game that you're going to be like, oh, I'm standing in line when we play a quick game or something. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's some. I think this would be better on an iPad Yeah. if you're at home and you uh, want to play it on that. It seems like that would be the best way to play it. Um, run through some games I've been playing. Uh, finish Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. Mm-hmm. Uh, I cannot recommend that game enough. Wait, it was I, so good. I gotta ask, did it help going through that one place and knocking out everything before? No, and it really didn't. Damn. Because when I finally... <laughs> yeah, uh, what happened is there was a glitch the last time I was talking about this where I got into a territory that is like story based but I wasn't supposed to be there yet and so there were no enemies there so I was going through and pillaging the place and like busting (laughs) down walls so that I could easily when I needed to go through there just kind of like stroll through without making any noise because all the walls have holes in them already so I just (laughs) crawl through everything well they showed up the next day and went fuck get the drywall exactly (laughs) Um, great game though uh, if you liked uh, Human Revolution Mankind Divided is better in every single way cool uh, really glad uh, we'll be talking about some of that news involving uh, IDOS Montreal mm-hmm. people we'll behind it later um, I played a game called Assemblance on PS4 it is a first person narr- uh, narrative driven thriller game that is only like an hour long and it sucks <laughs> okay. I was like, it was. It's been sitting on my wish list for a while, and it came on sale for like five bucks. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll get that. And it's it has some cool mechanics where the whole thing is like you start off, you're in front of this computer, and there's this like computer talking to you, like talking about your memories. And you go on this computer and you select a a time and a date, and they just give you like a selection of like three. And then there's like this holodeck in front of you that you walk through, and you like experience your memory. And it does this interesting thing where there's certain parts. The the key thing for this game is that you got to look at certain objects. Like you're in this room, but there's one object that is that is supposed to mean something to this guy. That like and triggers if you pay attention, something in yeah. His memory and it does like some crazy stuff. The payoff isn't worth it. It's really dumb. It gets it's a, kind it's of a like. It's kind of, yeah, it's like a holodeck kind of so thing. So like Counselor Troy's right tit, and then you stare at that and. Damn it! No one else. <laughs> nope. No one else likes Star Trek. No. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good though. It's like it's super short. Like you can literally beat the. You can you could platinum this game in less than an hour. Okay. Um, it's Damn. not a, a good game, and I'm I'm disappointed with that one. Um, what else? Some more Let It Die, of course. <laughs> um, nothing really changed. I beat the what, second boss. What floor are you on now? I'm now on floor twenty one. Ooh. So I am officially halfway through the game. Still loving it. Cool. Um, they did an update recently that I think added more music. Either that or I unlocked more music when I hit floor 21. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because there's like a shitload of music in that game. Yeah, there's like over 100 different Japanese artists oh, that man. made songs for this game. All, cool. They made songs for this game. That's cool. Not that they put their songs on the game. Like yeah. they made songs for it. So it's yeah, that's pretty great. Um, I was also playing some Final Fantasy XV. Specifically, the Choco Mog Mog Carnival DLC. Okay, yeah, yeah right. I can't. Do I that saw yet that. I'm not there. Well, you do you have the season pass? <laughs> My roommate does. Oh, okay, so you'll get. He's that. got it. But... So what's the deal with this? It's if this is what the DLC is going to look like, I I want to figure out if I can get a refund. <laughs> oh no. Um. So it's like some kind of festival somewhere in the game. What they did is they took Altitia. Which is a 
city that you go to yeah. in about the little over the halfway mark of yeah. the game. It's basically once you're done with the open world section and you want to continue the story, Altitia is the next place you go. Mm. Really, Altitia is an amazing looking place. Like it's visually designed really well. Yeah, you have to go by boat to go everywhere. It's, it, no, it really does look really pretty. Really, like, really well designed and thought out artistically. Okay. Um, it definitely looks like a Final Fantasy level um, city. Yeah. Um, it, it's really nice. But all they do in the Choco Mog Festival or whatever they call it is they basically, you're in Altitia again, and then there's balloons and like inflatable chocobos and moogles. And then there's like some people dancing around. It's the Macy's and, Choco Mog Day Giving Parade. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. And there's little side quests, or there's little, not even side quests. These, this is the DLC that you have. The quests that you can do are playing little side games, and um, one is like a chocobo race where you just do a lap around. You're not, oh, you're not racing anything. You're basically doing a time trial, and it's super easy to win the time trial. Uh, there's a shooting one, like a shooting gallery that's really boring. Uh, okay. There's pin the tail on the red mage. No, there's one where it's uh, whack the, the cactuar, feather. where you have like a little hammer thing and you got to hit the ta- cactuar as many times as you can. Okay. Uh, there's some where it's like find these five hidden moogles around and take their picture. If you take all the pictures, you get photo coins. Hunt. It's a photo hunt thing, <laughs> and you get some coins and with those naked? coins. Well, th- this is what upsets me, is that there aren't... They're a, not naked. <laughs> no, there aren't actually <laughs> moogles in the game. What? Right, that's, yeah, in 15. Yeah, it's not, it's not a spoiler. There's no moogles. I love moogles. Yeah, I guess I hadn't seen it. Was it was one of the few things I liked about uh, I loved 13 2, was I loved Mog on there. He was fucking annoying, but I thought he was great. See, I like the older moogles. Like, nine moogles. You like them old? Well, I like the Moogles in uh, Tactics. I'm going to keep driving uh, home this naked Moogle point here. Naked I mean, they, 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 they kind of are. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, they really kind of are. Clothes. Yeah, there's the only... The, there's there's some very of few of them that do. Yeah. But, but there's no actual Moogles they, in here. They're all just, like, stuffed too. animals. And they say, what, Kupo when they Kupo. when they sneeze and when they come? Kupo-po. Kupo-po. Kupo. Kupo. Okay. Kupo. Yeah. Kupo. And <laughs> we're going to start only, talking Mog here. I've only played Tactics, so my... Final Fantasy knowledge is original later. tactics or tactics advanced. Uh, advanced. Or, yeah, that was one of my. That's one of my favorites. One, that's favorite, a good uh, Are there Final any Fantasy. Square RPGs ever where there's not a festival and a carnival? Last Remnant and Moogles. <laughs> yeah, Last Remnant. <laughs> was yeah. Everyone I played, there's Tomb Raider. Yeah. Rise of the Tomb Raider. I should have mentioned that earlier because I picked that up instead of Mankind Divided. They're both good, good games. I couldn't say, I couldn't say yeah. like, oh, you should have got the other one because they're both no, really yeah, great games. I, mm. I, I, I'm not getting rid of my Rise of Tomb Raider. I'll, I'll still play it. I know it will. But yeah, that's... Um, I started playing a new mobile game called Gumballs and Dungeons that's really <laughs> fucking addicting. Gumballs really good game. Um, free to play. No ads. There is microtransactions, but they don't really force it. Uh Good game. Check it out if you want a new mobile game. And that's it. Okay. So how about we take a break, guys? All right. We'll take a break, and when we get back, we're going to talk the news. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. And we are back. Hallelujah. Yep. So let's talk some news. We didn't really talk news. I mean, we did. We just talked Nintendo stuff last week. That's all we really That happens a lot. Did. Yeah. I mean, we have some Nintendo stuff, but Nintendo. that will be at the end. Nintendo, Nintendo. Nintendo Power. No. That's not news. <laughs> we should call our podcast Nintendo Power. That would be great. That name's not taken. I like that name. Yeah. yeah it's got a good ring to yeah, it. Yeah, does don't you think? <laughs> not Nintendo related. 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 We we talked about this with uh, Rockstar and Leslie Benzies before. Uh, yeah, we, we brought it up yeah. when we were talking about uh, Red Dead because I was afraid that Red Dead 2 might be missing something because Rockstar is missing something in Leslie Benzies. Right. Uh, was it... I think it was the year before last that this whole thing started that yeah. he went on his, his sabbatical. Retirement. No, well, this wasn't... It, oh. at, the, at first, it wasn't retirement. It was that he After went on... After 5 wrapped up. 
Yeah, after they five reps, they sent him on a four sabbatical, but we didn't know that. Yeah, they they pitched it as in he chose He's, to do that. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it, he's from Ireland. I think. Uh, I mean, they're based in Edinburgh. So. Yeah, and it was something like I remember hearing about. He went and like bought this old historic church and like all this stuff and was doing all these things. It sounded like he was just fucking around. Yeah, he didn't really care about doing video game stuff anymore. He was just gonna go. It, and... it ended up being a shock to everyone when the lawsuit happened. Yeah, well, because then what happened was, is we heard the story of he come, he basically he came back and his key card didn't work. Oh, sort and they of walked thing. him out of the building. Yeah, that's my biggest fear in life. Oh no, I have that. I have that in my work too. If I go, like, home, yeah, if I go into work and it I've had it not work before, I'm like, this is how it ends. I, there's a badge that you, I have to use to get in the front door, or else I can't work. See, that's not my fear. Like every now and then, that'll happen where mine scans and and the door doesn't work, and I go. Is today finally the day that I don't have to work here anymore? And then, and then <laughs> so I swipe you're happy, it again. But yeah, I swipe uh, again, and I'm, like, I'm fuck. not happy back because I'm like, fuck, I don't, I just, I'll need a new job. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what happened was we heard all this that there was a feud between them, between uh, Hauser brothers, right? Mm-hmm. Those, are the, those are the two guys in charge yes. at Rockstar now, in terms of game development and everything. Yeah, it's their company. It's their company, yeah, and. Um, there was a feud, there was a lawsuit that he was suing them for... Uh, the money they owed him? Yeah, uh, whole thing was going on, it seemed like... Online's his baby, like he, they didn't, they didn't care about Grand Theft Auto V online. Right. They thought it was a stupid thing to even put it's time towards. Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's the strong. only thing that's still going with them. Yeah. It's what's making them money still. Which, I, I have that's his baby and he is... He's owed money. Like that was what his thing was like. I created this. Like you can't just shut me out and not pay me for this ongoing part of the game. Arguably the best part of the game. Yeah. The most lucrative part of the game. Yes. Yeah. Um. So yeah, then there was talks about him just sort of like being done with games. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know if there was anything official from him saying that, but that seemed to be the yeah. story yeah. that was going around. And this last week. We found out that he is not yeah. being, he's not done with games. He's that he's, 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 yeah. Yeah. he's, his new project everywhere. Where he also has the lead sound designer and the lead programmer from uh, Rockstar North. I didn't with know that. Them. I didn't yeah, know that that's, yeah he, he, he took them with him. Damn. It's, it reminds me a lot of uh, Kojima. Hideo Kojima. Yeah. Of him sort of taking he, his... He brought him up, people. too. Um, but the... And I, I don't, you, we can't really talk about oh, everywhere gosh. as a game because it doesn't even sound like a fucking game right now. The, the yeah. tagline for it is, Everywhere. A game that simulates and fuses the real world and the virtual. Live your own stories. stories as you live in ours. I read it earlier. So it's it's, uh, it's Second Life. Second Life. Yeah. <laughs> That's it just what it seems like a like. natural progression from Grand Theft Auto because you can already do just about anything. I mean, you want, Grand Theft right? Auto is almost like a Second Life. I don't. I wonder if they're <laughs> shooting to try to, you know, make a world, like make a country. The biggest problem with Second mm. Life is I can't carjack anybody <laughs> that's the problem that's the thing so that's this is me. what he's probably gonna solve i mean <laughs> because that's second that's... life plus gta guys yeah call it everywhere <laughs> i'm ready to make my own stories so yeah. what what are we what are we looking at here 2030 release um never i mean I'm just kidding. That was, that was just a joke. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Uh, so, so they're using Lumberyard, which uh, does a lot of the, uh, like, not boring crap. Like, it, it, it does a lot of the work for you, uh, which means that they can focus on basically making what they want to make. They have, I mean, yeah, they've, they've got an engine, which is a big step for a lot mm-hmm. of that stuff. We get, we get so many game announcements that, like, all they have are some drawings on paper. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have that, and then they did a pre-rendered video. And there's times where we get announcements for games, and that's it. They actually have an engine that they're clearly working with right now that just seems like, you know, they're, it, this isn't Japanese development style where they're literally creating their own engine for yeah. every single game. Um, 
they they felt comfortable enough to let people know that they were doing something. It just the the, the pitch for it doesn't interest me. Like it, no, I wasn't that interested in it. Um, I I'm intrigued. <clears throat> I want to know more. I'm intrigued by the caliber of the team. Yeah, the, they'll put something together that's cool. Yeah, it'll be cool. Dean, what do you think? Sounds good. All but, right, yeah, do I mean, everything. It, it could be I want to do everything. Yeah, um, I mean, it could be one of those games that, like, I mean, there's always those games that we look really forward to, and then they bomb. It maybe it's one of those games that we don't look forward to, and then it ends up being kind of good. Mm-hmm. I, and I don't. No, this think, is No Man's Sky too, <laughs> or No Man's Sky too. <laughs> I don't. I don't think uh, anything we know about it will. I, I don't like think there's going to be like a, a here's the synopsis in two sentences for this thing. It's going to be something really abstract and like hard to describe. Well, everything to me sounds out. like if I want to start the game and become a florist and a corner shop, mm-hmm. that could be what I do. And, and then, then you could be the carjacker. The and then you, <laughs> you rob the florist. The florist truck. And pretty soon we're fist fighting. Yes. Fist fight. <laughs> Can we go and discover a government conspiracy and find the alien spaceship? Well, someone has to and... be in the government. Yeah, someone has to be. Yeah, someone has to create that, I guess. And create Can the alien conspiracy. Okay, now I'm excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I mean, the, there was... <laughs> It no. comes out and it's just Minecraft. It's oh, we've just team it's, 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 it's Lego craft. Dimensions. If you can do world, it with a block, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Lego World? Lego World? Is that yeah, the Lego other Worlds. One? That's the yeah. one. Then. God. The, just uh, really hard to play. By they the way. they really? had a, a yeah. weird. They had a weird quote from it. Like I read an interview that that someone did. Uh, I think Polygon did. Before they even announced it, like they just kind of happened to be like, "Hey, we want to know what you're up to," and he's like, "Okay, like we're about to announce something." They're like, "Oh, cool! So let's talk." <laughs> and one of the things he said was like, "We're I don't know if he said this or uh, one of the other studio heads said this, but they're like, I, I mean, we want to make a place that's persistent, that's always like evolving, and like maybe in the future that." The, a president of a country would announce something in everywhere, and it's like, this that's, is Second Life. Like, like is... yeah, he want like they're they're trying to do social media within some kind of video game. No, like, this, this is... I mean it's very abstract, and we have no idea what it's really going to be. But I'm sure it's going to be full featured. No, and this crazy. is this is the next step. This is what I've been talking about since I first saw The Sims in like 1998. I'm like I that's when I start Sims. to think. Are we really just living in a simulation? Like somebody's just playing a really good game Elon right Musk now. Elon Musk thinks we are. I know Elon Musk, well, Neil deGrasse Tyson. They're all talking about this now. I'm like, I was talking about this 20 years it's ago. It's the Truman I Show. Saw but what's going to happen is somebody in this game <laughs> is going to make a Grand Theft Auto 3, and then it's just like this Matroska doll of carjackings. <laughs> and we, or can, we we all saw that episode of Cowboy Bebop, Brain Scratch. Nope, like, not we Rick and Morty, the Dimensions. Inside yeah, of the, the dimensions, dimensions yeah. inside of the dimensions. Yeah. Oh, that episode, yeah, the Colbert one. Yeah, that one's crazy. I forgot that. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's. It, I don't, there's really not much to say about it right now. Other it's than, just, it'll be oh, interesting I'm, when I'm they. Excited. I'm interested to see when they have a game if this can even be because there's no way that this is going to be on Xbox One, PS4, no, it's gonna maybe be PS5, PC. whatever the next Xbox Two is, mm. um, something like that. I, I'm interested in seeing Take Two maybe being, or is it, yeah, Take Two is they, the one that owns Rockstar, yeah. potentially trying to do something to keep it from showing up on consoles or something like that. Huh. I think that I think that's one thing that'll keep it from ever really becoming big, yeah. because we have games like this already on PC. Yeah. We have massive open world, uh, persistent online games. On PC, games that are going strong. That Seen that elite they have their, they have their, they, yeah, they have like a, something like elite. Yeah, you have Second Life, like we said before, something like that. Yeah. Um, I don't think I don't think that if, if this is if they can't get this on a console, it's not it's not going to really be much. Mm. It'll be much in that crowd, but I don't think it'll be really yeah. a big deal. I don't, yeah. I don't think it's going to be a true game changer. Whatever um, it is, it'll be. It, to me, really it sounds like yeah, Second It'll Life be... and Sims. Sure. 
It, it'll. I don't know. I'm excited. Well, I, we'll I like his. I like we'll, his fi- we'll find out. We'll talk Eventually. more when they have more to say. Um, I, I have a feeling this is something that maybe we'll hear it's bits and be pieces about for. I think it's something we're going to hear things about for a long time, mm-hmm. but yeah. nothing. Where it doesn't seem like this. This is going to be the kind of thing that literally disappears, especially since you have. Um, the they're using Amazon's game studios mm-hmm. engine sort of thing that they probably want to bring that up whenever yeah. they can of saying like, Oh, we have Lens- Leslie Benzie's team is working with us on this and all that. Anyway. Uh, uh, did, did you guys see that, uh, that article about the guy who is trolling people in Grand Theft Auto five by, you sent that to me. I never got a chance to look uh, at it. Do you want to yeah. run through that? <laughs> I real mean, quick? Speak, while we're talking about Leslie Benzie's work, uh, people are a, assholes. So yeah, like <laughs> if you, when you get into Grand Theft Auto Online, like there are people that are just being dicks in the game. Yes. Uh, if you try and take a car to an auto body shop, there are people waiting outside the auto body shop yes. to just blow your cars up. Uh, so it's this, annoying. <laughs> so it's this guy decided to, to do something about it. And he made a car that was worth, like, over a million dollars in in-game money. And then he insured it. Because that's a mechanic in the game. You can insure your car so that if you destroy them or drive them off a cliff or you do one of many crazy things that you can do with a car at Grand Theft Auto... You get your car back. You you get your car back. But... If someone blows that car up, you can file a claim against them and they they owe you money. Yeah. So yep. this guy <laughs> made. Uh, I didn't think about doing that. I know. I really want to try this. Yeah, I do he, too. He, I guess his his uh, um, screen name is Gernt. So he made the Gernt mobile, <laughs> and uh, it's the most ridiculously expensive car ever. And then he just drives it slowly down the street and pulls up to places where people are being trolls, and then they blow it up, and then files a claim. And then he does it again and files a claim. And pretty soon you can hear people on like the in-game headset being like, Dude, it's that guy again! Don't fucking hit that car! Don't shoot that car! Uh, and then he had to build the Gertmobile 2, a different car. And this car looks like a fucking Pimp My Ride car. Like the sound system in the, like, in the trunk, it's like realistic. And like there's, I don't know, LCD screens or something in the car. Like it's just the most tricked out, ridiculous garish thing in the world and like he just keeps making them and fucking with people that's hilarious that's great to the to the point that there was a guy just driving around downtown in a tank that's what happened to me <laughs> and that's what originally got me to quit playing gta online and then i, I eventually got back into it but that's what got me to quit was i you know i was just playing i was just starting out i was like i'm gonna go change my clothes because i look like shit nope so i go to a fucking shop I'm literally in the fucking process of purchasing shit. And all of a sudden, you know, whenever the, like, all the people start screaming and shit when mm-hmm. stuff's going on, that's what happens. And I'm like, well, what's going on? Like, Some there's guy runs in yet. and puts one and in your head. Well, no, no, you can't, you can't sudden, pull out weapons in the building, yeah. but if the door's open, you can, you can like, shoot in through it. Yeah. And <laughs> all, all of a sudden, I just hear, start hearing this, like, boom, boom. I'm like, that doesn't sound good. So I like I, I go into like the like changing room in the store, and I'm just like pressed up, like at Binko's straight on the wall, and I have it to where the camera's looking out the door of the fucking shop. Yeah, there's this tank, and he sees that I'm in there. He literally stops in front of the store, and you see the fucking gun sh- turn, and he just starts trying to shoot me in there, and I'm just like. What am I doing? Like, I just see all these shots coming past my door. Like, what the fuck? I eventually died, and I was just like, I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to play. I, I don't know. Like, it's it's annoying in some ways, but, like, that's just sort of the fun of the of the game. Oh, there was every time. Because I, I, played, I played a lot of it when, it when it came out. I was really hyped for online. It, you know, disappointed how broken it was when it, when yeah, it first, when it first came out. But yeah, there would be times where every single shop you went into, you couldn't be in there long because if someone, it was just a common thing that if you looked on your mini map and you were in a shop, you'd see someone yep. drive by and then they would like turn around and stop. <laughs> they and would. they would like wait, they would wait for you to come out just to kill you. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, that's just, that's just what people did. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite stories though, was playing with Garrett 
And uh, they have a thing where you can put, uh, there's like hits out on people. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And it was like, you do it for someone, and then if someone kills them, they get a big bonus. And we were both playing on the same map, doing our own things, just fucking around, doing our own stuff. And then, out of nowhere, he's just like, Jeremy, you gotta find me and come kill me. And I'm like, why? And he's like, I got like a $50,000 hit on my head right now. I don't know why. (laughs) Everyone was chasing me. And I'm like, oh, shit. And so... And um, he's telling me all this stuff, and I'm clear on the other side of the map. I'm like, I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> so I'm, like, driving, and he, I'm just hearing him just, like, screaming and just being like, fuck you, leave me alone! And he's like, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I finally get to where he is, and there's, like, five or six guys, oh, like, God. around the corners and stuff, like, in cover, trying to take him out. And I'm like, I'm here, where are you? And he, like, describes it. He's like, I'm coming! And I, I see him, and he's just like, there you are! And he just basically comes out of cover, and it's just like, I pull out my shotgun and kill him. And it's almost like, oh! <laughs> it was it, it was really fun but overall yeah you just have the it just makes me think like yeah I'm just playing with fucking twitter eggs right now I, I love it. playing with groups on there though like I have a crew. team up I, yeah. yeah I have a crew on there and uh, anytime that we play together we'll do a heist or something or, or there's those little um, like mini kind of game things that go on if you're just in the world yeah you know what I'm talking about I was like, disappointed with the fact that you can't be playing <clears throat> golf and then a tank rolls in there. Uh, that can't happen in there and i and before the, the game came ever. out before it came out yeah. that's what my, that's where my head went i would i want to be like i want to block someone's shot in golf by with, crashing with a plane down in front of them or something like that <laughs> and you couldn't do that it just goes off into its own little mini oh, game world. Okay. um so i was disappointed with that <laughs> There's like 10 people on the fairway with machine guns yeah. waiting to try and shoot your golf ball out of the sky. Like you could do golf carts on there. You could do, drive your own golf carts, which is oh, fun. Yeah. But that was it. No no weapons were allowed. No. Yeah, most of the time on GTA, I just Ferris wheel or the train snipe. Yeah. <laughs> So next up, I've got on here um, Evo's coming up. Yeah, yeah. They we've got some announcements. Some um, fighting games. The games that have been announced are Street that Fighter Five, Tekken Seven, which is the new, new Tekken that just that's not out yet. It's coming out. Um, when is that coming out? May, I think. Can it be that? Oh yeah, that's right. It can be that late for Evo. Street Fighter Five came out early for the like. Street Fighter Tour or yeah. whatever. So that's what fucked them over. But um, Guilty Gear Xerd Rev 2. Um, yeah. That wasn't the Guilty Gear from like a year and a half ago, right? This is it's, a new this one. This is like the new... This is like the super version of that. Okay, okay. That's that's just how they don't I do really it. wish I could wrap my head around Guilty Gear, but... It's, never it's a Guilty good Gear. looking game, but yeah. It it's looks really good. Hard. From an artistic standpoint, it's beautiful to look at, but I'll never be good at that game. I've tried getting into like two different ones and I just couldn't do it. It's so complicated. Uh, Injustice 2, which is the new Injustice that's game. Coming out. That one's another that new one's game that's coming out. Is it? No, they, they do their games that like, one, like March every. Like, uh, I played another, the first another round. Analysis. I know I that one, I believe, is May as well. I might be mixing up Tekken with Injustice's release date. Usually, Nether, Nether Realm releases their like Mortal Kombat's and Injustices in like March every yeah. year. Well, they just recently did an announcement with the date, and I remember it, I'm pretty sure it's that May for. Okay. Um, actually, I, should, I didn't even write this down. Do we know when Evo is? Oh, it's after. <laughs> uh, it's after E3. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're looking like for of, June. End of June, yeah. Okay, so yeah, okay. Uh, so that gives people some time. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, that one will probably be on there forever. Yeah. Then we have Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Two Smash Brothers games. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. They did that last year, didn't they? Evo is in July. Okay. 14th through the 16th. Okay. Uh, then we have Blaze Blue Central Fiction. I don't... Uh, Nope. I've never played a Home? Blaze Blue game. You don't I know, know the Blaze Blue games? It's by this it's by the same people that do Guilty Gear. Yeah, I, I can't tell okay. the difference. Yeah. Like they There's look the same, they play the same. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's similar to a way like uh with Street Fighter. Ken's and not Dark in there, Stalkers what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Ken? Where'd he go? Is there a quarter circle? <laughs> and then the King of Fighters fourteen. 
Which okay. I know nothing I don't about. That's right, they made either. another King of Fighters. King of Fighters is the one that has May, right? The one, the girl with the big old yeah, they're, they're, they're hanging yeah. down. I think that's that oh, game. They need some killers. Who is that's actually from Samurai Showdown. They need some killers. Oh, okay. in there. Yeah. I'm sure they've had one of the KIs from one of the seasons uh, of KI at some point in the last few years. I think last year they had Killer Instinct. I think okay, it was yeah, Killer Instinct season Killer two, Instinct. I believe. But then they also have the fan vote, yes, where yeah. you can vote with your money. You make donations, you make, okay, and that's how you vote on it. You, you you're vote. donating to it, and huh. then you put you can put where you want. So if someone wants vote. to be like a real big prick, and they can just you can drop ten grand on go it. Go ahead, yeah. drop ten grand, and you can get them to play arms. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. There's no pocket. No, there's uh, Pokken, too. Well, well, that's part of the fan vote. In the fan vote this year, yeah. it is ARMS, which is the upcoming Nintendo Switch, Switch fighting game. I wonder if they mm-hmm. will uh, they will all use Pro Controllers instead of nah. movement. I can tell you, what, it's not going to happen this year. No, uh, it's not. It's, it's very but low on the fan Theoretically, vote right now. Uh, because I've heard that you can also play ARMS with a Pro Controller. Right. And uh, I wonder if they would use the Pro Controller instead of the motion. Probably. I'm sure purists and you know the real technical fighters would yeah. pre- are going to prefer that. Uh, we, then we have Killer Instinct. That's one of the fan okay. votes. Oh, I didn't know it was in the fan. Yeah, um, <laughs> that one apparently, I guess it just wasn't as big last year when it was. Season mm-hmm. 3. I, they're start, I think, I think season three season starts this year. And I Iron now. Galaxy did that one again, right? Um, yes. Because they're the ones that did. They're the dive kick people, right? They're the. Yeah, because it was season one was rare. Or no. It was someone else. I don't remember. It was someone else, but they only did the first season. Yeah. And then it was taken over by a different team. I can't remember who did it. I know Iron Galaxy. If, if they're the dive kick people, then they took over for second season, and I think third season. Yeah, too. I think they're doing third season. If Virtual Fighter Two is on there, it's I'm gonna empty Sorry. out my four hundred one k just to be a troll. Just to be a troll. <laughs> <laughs> then we have yeah. Mortal Kombat XL, which is Mortal Kombat last, last year. Yeah. Um, Nidhog, the first Nidhog. Is that the Nidhogg weird too. like fencing? Yep. Like. Um, like it doesn't seem like it fits. Atari graphics yeah. or yeah. something. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it fits because yeah. it's not. There's no. You don't choose characters in that game. You just fight. you have the left and the right side basically. Yeah. Uh, Pokken tournament. Pokken tournament. I don't know how 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 do we pronounce that? How do you? Pronounce yeah, I, it? I say Pokemon. Pokemon. Po- we'll go yeah, with Pokemon. That know. makes more sense. Yeah, I, think. Makes, yeah, I just did because uh, Pokemon. Yeah. Pokey. I think Pokey. I think yeah. Pokken fits better if you're thinking of, like Tekken. That's yeah. I yeah. lean but towards Pokken. Tekken yeah. Yeah. fits better when you're depends on where you're putting the emphasis. <laughs> yeah. The emphasis. <laughs> 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 um, Skullgirls, which is amazing that that is still that game is still. I mean, it, the the developers have been. Uh, really good at supporting I feel like it. You, you you blew that half of the sentence too early. What? Uh, it's amazing that that's still relevant. Skullgirls? Yeah, but yeah. there's another game further down on that list. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, sure. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, we'll get to there. Uh, uh, other ones amaze me as well. Uh, then we have Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I mean, why not? It That is... I mean, people argue about which one was better. If it Whether you... Do turbo or not on that? I mean, just why not have a Street Fighter on there and cycle them out? Every Dean day? was shaking his head. How do you feel on that? I just, I everybody, everybody likes that one the most out of the classic yeah, Street you. Fighters, and I just like it the least. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that. Yeah, I mean I'm sort of Alpha Two, Street Fighter Three. Th- those are both so much better. Yeah. And, and I'm sick crowd, of looking at it. That's just, the crowd. All, that the game is just being shoved in my throat. When they did the HD remake like oh, yeah. eight years ago for 360, <clears> it just sucked. <throat> I have nothing good to say it, about it. Well, it, <laughs> it, won't win be, it won't win because like Alpha 2 and Third Strike, like that's the group of people that prefer, like the Evo crowd prefers... Third Strike or three or Alpha over well, two. I think I mean, those are the kind of people that game is made for. The problem, I think, one of the problems <clears throat> that people had with the third one is the fact that they just ch- they didn't have any classic characters in it. Yeah, and that upset a lot of people because because Street Fighter Two took over the fighting scene. It mm. killed everything, and then when you do a fall, well, after it created the, it after yeah, the created after it, yeah, yeah it, it created the fighting scene. Yeah, and uh, it just. Is like after 
everyone went crazy after we did all the the supers the turbos all that stuff when they finally put out a new one they're just like we're gonna put all new fighters and every and you have people that were just like you know for me i thought it was great give us new fighters but i can understand people that are just like you know because uh, you didn't have um you didn't have well, it was was Ryu was in that one i think Ryu was in was ken in it no i don't think ken was in it no ken, ken, I don't, I don't. Ken. in the third one yeah, Ken was in that one. Oh, for sure. Oh, okay, oh. there's never not Ken. I, yeah, never for me, I don't. Yeah, Ken. I don't have a lot of memories. I don't know. Of, but. Well, we play that. I uh, just two years straight on the Dreamcast. Street <laughs> okay. Fighter Three. Always Sega. The one we have. <laughs> <laughs> what I've got next here is I the current it. leader, and I think <laughs> will end up winning Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom Three, which is amazing okay. that it is end up on there in the first place. That's just. A, that's just fun to watch yeah that one i think will all i mean they should never not have that one on there everybody ever i've never played that no nah, 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 i mean i played it but i i comprehend it no, no. i loved mvc2 mm. i didn't care for three mm. there was the the verticality that they did with it the juggling yeah, right. um there were there were certain things about it that i did not like and it was one of those things i bought it day one when it came out for three and i was just like getting my ass handed to me the entire time and mm -hmm. i'm just sort of like i cannot figure this shit out yeah no but hey it's got beautiful joe in it so mm -hmm. no, the, the, I, love the, I love the cast of three the cast is incredible you have phoenix right in there that's what right. are you kidding me yes that's <laughs> you have, uh amaterasu from okami in there what? yeah that's right okay um, oh man i i just now found out from Reading Game Informer that there there's another Phoenix Wright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? You know they got those all on mobile, right? What? Not all of them, but the really? first three are on mobile. Hmm. The pricing's weird, but if you're mm -hmm. willing to just buy it all, they're they're solid games. I love those mobile. games. And lastly, <clears throat> and really, it doesn't have a chance. Oh, it doesn't. I want to watch it though. Wind jammers. <laughs> I know. I want to watch them do that. No, the question. I don't know. They're probably not going to be doing the new Windjammers because I or the no 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 the re-release. You would play you classic. would play the Neo Geo one. Yeah, you would play Windjammers proper. Uh, if it doesn't make it into the show, it will definitely be in the hotel rooms. Oh sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, you'll have the side ones. You'll, uh, the what do they call it? Um, yeah, when they have the different rooms that you can go through and just anybody can play yeah. sort of thing. Anyone can sign up to play through different ones. That's where that uh, Jackie Chan game lives. Did, what uh, Jackie Chan? The game? Jackie Chan fighting game where you can like fight uh, Legend of Drunken Master Jackie Chan versus uh, like uh, 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 Rumble in the Bronx Jackie is Chan. Is this a PlayStation whatever. game? Yes. Okay, <laughs> that sounds that sounds like a PlayStation. It's crazy. Game. Uh, like they did a they looked at it like six years ago on six or seven years ago on Giant Bomb. We go find that video. It's hilarious. So, for me, I'm excited for <coughs> Smash Brothers Wii U and Street Fighter V, probably because they're probably going to announce a new Street Fighter V character. Mm -hmm. um, and then Smash is just going to be Smash. Yeah, There's not going to be... Possi well, possibly we might... By, the, well, by that time, we should know about uh, no, Smash Brothers Switch. for the Switch. I, if, if they potentially don't show new it, uh, characters. If they, if they don't show it at uh, E3, they, they might show it there. Could be. Because they no Nintendo's finally to started to uh, embrace Evo instead Joe of reluctantly let them play it there. No, Beautiful Joe wouldn't. No, they, they're not going to. What? See, I don't think we're ever going to see Beautiful oh, Joe again. I don't think yeah, you, see yeah him I didn't catch that, so. I don't <laughs> think we'll should... see him in uh, no. Infinite. <clears throat> uh, and it, we won't see another Beautiful Joe game again ever, probably. Yeah. Maybe a mobile game. I don't, I don't want that. I don't... No, I don't either, but that's why we'll probably <laughs> see it. So, what are you guys excited for for this? I mean, is it, is it just Smash Brothers and Street Fighter? All I, I I love watching people play Melee. It's yeah, I'd ridiculous. probably just watch some Smash. I'll watch Street That's Fighter. I'll watch. I'll probably watch Marvel vs. Capcom. 3. It's uh, another crazy one. I love watching people play that because I can't never understand what's happening, but they do. And the colors. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The pretty colors. I would love to see. I would love to see people play Windjammers, but you know, whatever. Troll. I mean, if I had the money, <laughs> drop like a million dollars down, I'd be like, you yeah, motherfuckers well, are playing Windjammers. Hey, uh, I mean, Dean's sitting here talking about giving up 401k. I don't have a 401k. What are you giving up? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I don't You're not going anything. in very you hard. Look at all my shit. <laughs> Look at all my shit. 
This isn't going anywhere. Yeah, well, MVC three is last time I checked is ahead of when of uh, you were wanting wind jammers. Yeah, I think it's ahead by like eight grand. Mm. So, you know that could change. We're yeah. gonna have to start a grassroots Twitter campaign. Yeah, let's get the uh, <laughs> let's, get, let's just let's all in. get uh, uh, wind jammers <laughs> and shoot like a VHS style promo video <laughs> of us playing wind jammers like with a, Neo Geo sticks on your TV with like that like it's got the the that like nineties like kind of rag hat but with the regular bill and like yeah. wear like sunglasses and like a tank top and yeah. Like, got a big-ass microphone. Like, we're here where they're making wind jammers right here behind us. And I come in with a visor. Wind jammers VR. Yeah. 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 Wait, but, like, but it's like with an early 90s down. VR headset. Yes. So it's like the, just the pinnacle of technology. you got to do the tracking on it. You know, right. Man, there we go. So looking forward to that. Uh, next thing I have on here, and this, this is, it's a big deal, but there still isn't. It's another game announcement. But there isn't really much to say about it. Square Enix announced that they have a yeah. multi-game partnership with Marvel, mm-hmm. starting with the Avengers project, which will be headed off by Crystal Dynamics, who's responsible for Tomb last Raider. year's Rise of the Tomb Raider. Mm-hmm. Um, well, last year and the year before that, I think I guess two years ago, and then that might make me care about anything in the Marvel universe. Yeah, there you go. Would be in, right because right be now I, I don't care about any Marvel character. Well, in, I mean, Square has already done something with Disney. If you think about it, uh, well, everyone true. was thinking that this was going to be the announcement was going to be a Kingdom Hearts like Marvel's coming to Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a Marvel Kingdom Hearts Star Wars mashup. I think it's been too long. That game's been in development for too long. It's. It... <laughs> yep, exactly. I want to. I want to say it's gonna. But it's coming out. Let's but let's not take I away can't from. Say it. Let's not take away from how cool this could actually be. So yeah, we're starting off with Avengers, but this isn't gonna be just Avengers. Like this is Marvel, so they could. I'm hoping that they sort of tap into some lesser known superheroes mm-hmm. or like story not even you know necessarily superheroes but just some of the marvel Ooh. stories and characters but maybe they'll bring in some of the defenders well they can do like what they did with cool. guardians of the galaxy of just where that was just a completely unknown thing yeah they make one movie of it that it you know i i love that one but you could even just say it was a decent you know action comedy sort of thing yeah and that everyone's going crazy about it now because it's something different um there's a lot that they could do. I'm I'm trying to look past the Avengers thing because I'm I'm burned out on Avengers. There, I mean that Avengers thing is going to be um, fodder for selling more Avengers tickets because those movies are going to come out one a year. Right. I just I don't know if it's going to tie in with the movies. If they're I gonna, hope no, not. I don't I do anything. I hope not because um, I, any game that I've ever played that is like based off of movie or anything is poop. Right. They, they they don't need they don't need a, a game to promote those movies. Those movies are already like mega huge. Yeah. Um, and it looks like from the little trailer that they like what is it? It reassemble. Yeah. So it's like post Civil War or whatever. Um, like it'll be some own, its own new story. I'm sure. I, they don't They don't need to make a game based off of any of the movies or wherever the MCU is right now, which I've only seen like one MCU movie anyway. What And the way I see it is that when it comes to Avengers, you can kind of replace everybody, but if Downey isn't playing Stark, yeah. I'm not interested. Yeah. I'm not even like tied, I'm not even like that into it, but he has but fit just... himself into that character <clears throat> So, so well, well yeah. that you can't just like put anyone else on there. They mm-hmm. did that with the Iron Man games on 360. Like Sega made some really shitty ones, mm-hmm. but they had an impersonator trying to do his voice, and that alone, you know, I didn't even care that it was a shitty game. That alone, I was like, nope, I can't do this because that's just weird. You're right. I mean, it's the Iron Man movies. They're the only reason Marvel movies are relevant yep. right mm-hmm. now. Yep. Yeah. The X Men hey, they... movies were like at first was like, they were kind of big, but those just went downhill quick. Yeah, um, which is Logan's a shame because I, I mean, I'm more. Oh, Logan looks so good. I'm I'm more '90s Marvel anyway, so I, I 
care more about like Spider Man and Spider Man. Yeah, that's so my I'm, I'm, so I'm really, really excited for the new Spider Man. Homecoming, Insomniac doing a Spider. No, not the movie. Oh, I mean, the movie, I, yeah, I yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I like Spideys. But yeah, I want to see. Uh, <laughs> I want to see Insomnia. I want to see that movie too. But I, I want to see how how that Insomnia Isn't game turns out. After fucking, and, I fucking hate, I hate Andrew Garfield as, as Peter Parker. It, that was. Damn. Terrible. His Peter Parker was pretty bad. His Spider Man. His Spider Man was good, but that's the thing I always hated about though. Go go off on a little tangent. I loved Spider Man when I was when I was little, and like the idea is Peter Parker is supposed to be a fucking loser. Yeah, and then yeah. you get someone like Andrew Garfield who's just like he's the handsome boy. He's, he's just, just like I'm. Uh, I'm a nerd. Uh, people don't like he's me. Just but I just Gwen Stacy. Yeah, and it's just like the oh, back this of the is class. So stupid. They just what they needed to do was make a movie where Tobey Maguire was Peter Parker and Andrew Garfield was Spider Man, and it would have been perfect. <laughs> no, yeah, I love Tobey Maguire as Peter Parker. His Spider Man was, was just kind was of his Spider Man was dorky. Yeah, and yeah, I, I don't know, but I yeah, Any, um, any <laughs> I haven't really I haven't really paid too much. Uh, I never really cared about any of the Avengers characters themselves as a kid growing up. I I was always in the Spider Man when I was yep. young. Yeah, no, it was the same for me. Spider Man and X Men. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's like, really and it's, <laughs> it sucks that they're making really great movies with the Avengers now because someone like people that know what they're doing are in charge of them, and yeah. the people that have are in charge of the properties we actually like just are holding <laughs> on to them for dear life. Well, like Sony trying to figure out what to do. Like, there's money in this somewhere. Well, well, they Sony's did. Sony's working with. Yeah, them. yeah. Sony right. is Sony letting, gave up. Sony gave up on Spider-Man. That movie's yeah. gonna. That movie's gonna do incredibly well, and Fox is gonna go. All right, fine. Yeah. Let's make a deal like Sony's well, deal. Didn't, didn't someone? Who is it? Fox that did Fantastic Four. Uh, or is that Sony? I don't not quite sure where that and that lies I because can't which one that one is. they but did I, the I original two, they, they did the first too. two, and then I don't know who did that abysmal one. I don't know. It, I I know it's horrible. I just I yeah, just that last one, that reboot they tried to do was pretty bad. I hear. In summary, we're excited for what Crystal Dynamic has. In <laughs> I like Crystal for Dynamics, I, and I yeah, feel like I they can do Square, something. So I'm a big Square guy. I was playing. Uh, Gex the other day or Gex? Gex? Oh, yeah. oh, oh Gex. Gex. Crystal Dynamics. Dude, I have Gex still. Which one do? What do you Into have? Into the Gecko? On, I have. Well, it's the PS One. One. Yeah, but I, 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 it's on my PS Three. So I remember renting the N sixty four when I was little. Collecting all Enter the remotes. Gecko. Yeah, it was yes, that's really the dirty. That's yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> Enter the Gecko. <laughs> You're getting all those TV remotes and I stuff. Didn't get that Crystal D. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, <man. laughs> so to wrap up this episode we couldn't get through an episode without talking about the switch there's a little bit of switch news oh, uh more wanna... more uh more games yeah we're padding out the launch a bit more uh that's been the one of the biggest Oops. criticisms is this is one of the smallest launch lineups of any game in a, system in a long time at least um yeah oh you know i mean in 64 had two games yeah um well now they have world of goo so i mean what do they have to lose yeah that's the thing so so the story right now most recently um it was announced that world of goo um little inferno and human resource machine those are like kind of all in the same universe all by the same indie developer uh the tomorrow company and uh World of Goo was launched as a... It, did, it wasn't at the Wii launch, but it did launch as a Wii exclusive. Little Inferno was at the launch of the Wii U. And then now... And then Little uh, Human Resource Machine came along sometime in the Wii U. All these games also came out to PC. World of Goo came out to mobile uh, eventually. It was a big hit when it came out. Uh, great game. I love World of Goo. Great soundtrack. Really fun game. Uh, good physics puzzler. A uh, little Inferno is a little. I loved it. Weird. Uh, yeah, it's. It, it I is really the most liked it, relaxing game I've ever played. Yeah, just oh. you just set things on fire. Yeah, you just set things and like you, <laughs> like you could do like a school bus full of children. So you just <laughs> throw it in a furnace and just like ah. It is, but it's relaxing. Yeah, you could just really chill to that game. Have oh. it, Have any of you guys played? Was it Doodle God? I think on the phones or something no. like that. It, it's it's one of those games where it is literally it is a sandbox. It is like you're given all of these little things to just play with, and you sort of see what they do together. Is it like being able to uh, 
roller coaster tycoon picking up people, putting them in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. I gotta tell Watching my son drown. about this now because he plays three. Can you do that in three? I, I don't know. I can you drown three. humans? Yeah. Hey, high five for not playing three because I haven't played. What is that? I, I, didn't, I didn't like it. Was it like called as, platinum or something? No, it was called three. I one and two. I was uh, well, one and two are on fucking obsessed now. with those games on mobile. Yeah, I, I don't know uh, the man making uh, lines in that game. Uh, is tough enough. Is doing phone. it with <laughs> doing it with yeah, your it's... finger on a mobile phone. But it's old enough. Create... They might launch it on the Switch. Roller coaster. Well, well I, what we have yeah. for Switch. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can take the up. take the Joy Cons, put your arms in the air. Wait, HD remaster has to be no, HD remaster. They redo the soundtrack and everything. I've never so Jeremy, what else so. you got there for the Switch? <laughs> you never played any Tycoons? No, no, I've played. Uh, That's I've, the only one worth playing. Yeah, I mean, I played Hospital Tycoon. I really like that one. Okay. I, I want to play the, um, the 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 prison uh, prison pr- prison architect. Yeah, prison I want to play that a lot. That game is really fun. Yeah, I really want to play that. <laughs> uh, the other game that is padding out the Switch launch is I Am Set Suna. Will be available digitally. I think at launch, which is try. which is a, that's a cool game to get that's a uh, if you're a fan of old school rpgs something akin to chrono trigger uh apparently i, I am setsuna is very similar to that golden Sun. I, i'll probably check that one out after i finish up zelda so are all these games uh things that have appeared on the wii u already uh, i am setsuna has not okay no. these are things it's, that have appeared everywhere, everywhere. Why, why, I, yeah. I know that I'm just I'm just hoping that maybe this means they're doing a better job of courting indie developers to be on their new system. But if a lot of these games were already people they'd I, worked with before, then that that's not indicative. They did a good job of that on the Wii U. I mean, I they really opened up their uh, store to developers and gave them all the tools they needed to work with. Yeah, just, yeah. You just I think that they sell just made it a little bit easier Wii U. this time. Mm. It's not the Wii U. Well, the thing <laughs> is, is that with these announcements, I've said before. <clears throat> Uh, I think I I may have said, I don't know if I said it on the podcast, but I was anticipating us to get maybe a direct with a bunch of indie stuff Mm -hmm. put on there. This isn't quite that, but it's still a similar idea where indie developers are suddenly saying, oh yeah, we're going to be at launch, we got this game here, we got this game here, we're just basically putting these games that we already did. Uh, It's a good sign that apparently these are easy to put on the Switch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Especially if all these indie developers are coming out like... But I said before, Nintendo at the, right now, Nintendo doesn't have to worry about selling Switches. They have sold the Switches. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's our. <laughs> uh, they don't need to worry about saying anything more about oh, what are we going to have at launch and all this because it's like it's going to be a Zelda machine, and clearly there are two million people out there that yeah, are Zelda. one that, <laughs> that one that Zelda machine. Yeah. Um, even though you can play it on Wii U, even also. though you can play it on Wii U. Now, Dean, I do want to talk about it because you haven't been on here to talk about the Switch. A month ago, you were basically like, I'm not going to worry about the Switch right now. Uh, I, you want to play Zelda, but you were just like, I'll just, I got it on Wii U. You were, I remember you were saying things that you were worried about the rumored specs of the system itself. I've been Your on shadow. and off the, I've been on and off the hype train. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I got back on uh, a couple weeks ago when they made their big announcement and showed the trailer for. Super Mario Odyssey, that's the one that really got me. And I'm like, well, I have to have it at least by that point. I could care less about the hardware. I'll spend $300 to play this game. Yeah. Um, I even tried to pre-order a Switch, uh, but I didn't didn't get in quick enough. But I don't care, because the only game I want to play at launch is Zelda. I'll just play it on the Wii U. Um, But all the problems I had with the Switch that made me think it was just stupid... Are have all been laid to rest. Like one, they fixed the Nintendo account thing. With the Wii U, I would never buy a digital game because I don't have it tied to an account. It's the worst thing. Well, we don't know that they're gonna do a good job tying it yeah, to that account. I mean, well, I heard Reggie say it's gonna be tied to your account. So I would expect if I go get a new Switch, I'm gonna be able to put my account in there just like I would a Steam account or an Xbox account or whatever, and download if my. If that's games the way, again. then I'll get rid of my Wii U. 
I well, yeah. But, I mean, I don't know, but I mean, I won't buy a physical game. I'm not a big physical game guy, but on yeah. Wii U, I I've always buy physical because I don't want to lose it. But, a digital yeah. copy, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Oh yeah, that's why. That and all honesty, that's what I've loved about Xbox, just because I I downloaded all these 360 games on my old on my 360 when I had it, and as soon as they're backwards compatible, it's like oh, ready to download. Yeah. I just download it again. No, I've owned I owned. <clears throat> three ps3s and it was so nice that every time like i because i had one that broke then i bought it i bought a replacement and then eventually i got a slim one to replace that one but every time it was just like every game that i had you know i power on that new system and look through my account here's every single game that i have purchased over the last six years You can just get it right on there. And that's the way they should have done it with the starting oh, yeah. with the virtual console on the original on the Wii. Wii. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, I remember buying we Paper Mario, getting a new Wii, and not having Paper Mario anymore. <laughs> and I was burned on it. I'm like, yeah. nope, never again. I bought a I bought a bunch of stuff when I bought my Wii and then I had to sell it because things were tight and then I bought another one like three months later and the only way you could do it is by doing a physical transfer with it like and when i say physical i mean you're still digitally transferring it Mm -hmm. but literally you have to have the two systems that you're going to transfer to right then and there and they did the same gamestop would let me have that system back just once because it was all i only one other i was with that one for three months so Mm -hmm. luckily the guy who i bought it off of on craigslist was like really into shmups and so, so I had, like, had, a bunch I had of blazing players. lasers and gravity oh, yeah. three, and Love blazing like lasers. a bunch of like really great like shit. Uh, yeah, so luckily I had a bunch of cool shit to play because he couldn't keep all of his stuff. Yeah, well, they really opened well, themselves up to piracy because of not having a good online marketplace. Yeah, they. I mean, they opened. They just did it to themselves because I mean, if you bought a bunch of games on Wii or Wii U and well, you lost your hardware. Yes. 3DS, I, whenever I upgraded to the newer 3DS, um, I had to call. I literally was on the phone with Nintendo. And saying, they give you like hey, a game card. I need my stuff back so I can play it. You and know? they give you like and a then, gift card so you can buy it all again, right? No, they let me download it, but oh, okay. it's the fact that I had to call them. No, because yeah. that's the thing. Like, is they, They've had this set up for like the last four years. They just mm-hmm. haven't. They've just Jesus. never let anybody yeah. do it. They were like super secure about it because they were just like, they, apparently it, it's got to be just bad. Oh yeah. It, four years ago when they were doing it, it had to have been bad mm-hmm. because they just were like they realized well we can't just let have people have access to this because they could easily just get their shit we, hacked and we can't let this. people have access to their to their property. Yeah. Like, oh. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm hopeful on that. Uh, what what else, Dan? Was there anything else that um, this they you know laid to rest. in the last two weeks? Yeah, the Joy-Con controllers. When I realized everything that they do, yeah, I no, mean, it's and a then lot I, more than you thought, right? Yeah, because you know when they moved to the Wii U, I mean, you could still use the Wii Mote, but it felt like they were going backward as far as input went. Like you're going back to traditional controllers and then mm-hmm, yeah. now they've come full circle because they've got this thing that looks like a newer updated Wii U and they've really just got two Wii motes that come with it. I mean, that are better Wii motes. Isn't it nice that it's you're literally getting two controllers even though, you know, we can argue about the I mean, I don't think we'll really argue about the quality of those controllers, but you can literally play yeah. two player a two-player game right off the bat. Yeah, that, just the system. that eases the blow of not that. having one, two switch in the box, I think, uh-huh. a little bit. Yeah. Because those controllers are really expensive. Are they, though? Because I how much... feel like they are. Okay, I a Wii like controller, when it came out, was $40. Okay, mm-hmm. I my benchmark for this is the Steam controller, because the Steam controller is 50 what, bucks, 50? Yeah. right? and it is probably the most advanced controller you can buy as far as sure. how many gyros and, and different... Does Input it have HD mechanism. rumble? <laughs> then you shake it and feel the ice How cubes ice inside cubes in or whatever. Every every surface is haptic, which yeah. is pretty yeah, amazing. That's pretty but, cool. Um, but that's they can do that. Steam can do that for fifty bucks, and you know it still costs forty dollars for a, a ten year old Wii Mote. I guess eight year old <laughs> Wii Mote because it's got Motion Plus in it or whatever. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I think it's it's a little too much. I do, I don't see myself buying a Pro controller. 
uh, immediately. I don't. I, I will I've get got, one. I've but... got one pre-order on Amazon. Um, I may end up canceling it before the launch. It was one of those things that uh, it popped up, and I was like, I might as well just pre-order it now. I don't have to pay for it right now, but I'll put my pre-order in. And those pre-orders disappeared in like 15 minutes. Yeah. So I was telling these guys, $70, I guess, isn't too bad for a lot of people. Yeah. Like, they don't mind paying $70 for a controller. Well, that's good for Nintendo. If they found yep. the right price for them, I mean, you're still going to be able to do everything you need to do with a couple of Joy-Cons. So you're not out in the cold. That is another thing that it does have me excited is... At first, people will look at it and be like, "Oh, they're trying to do the motion thing. They're going to force all that." I was like, "No, you don't. You don't no, see you don't the point." To. It's any just developer there. can just make the most basic game that you would have on any other system, and just be like, "Yeah, you can just play it like a regular controller." If someone wanted to make a weird motion game, they, they have can. that option yeah. too. They're not shoehorning any sort of oh, control well, type. There's a WarioWare DIY that you could make motion and. Control like you know controller, <laughs> so you can do whatever you want. Really, well, this is this is I'm the all most. For new worry where, yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. I mean, this is about the controllers though. This is the most disappointing aspect about Breath of the Wild, because they they had to put it on Wii U and they had to put it on Switch. And my benchmark for Zelda is Skyward Sword because that's the last game, and that game had ingenious input from the the Wiimote and the nunchuck. It was a lot of fun. It, it was, was the pinnacle really of motion gaming. It was so well executed. And I know it was hit or miss for some people. I loved it. it was I one thought of my it favorites. was great. I mean, it was not hard for me to do. I got into it. I felt involved. And now we're back to just the basic controller That's thing. literally the only Zelda game I haven't played. It would be great if they did something where, you, you know, they could just be like, oh yeah, you can do the motion sword stuff. Where you can like walk around with one, you know, with the stick in one hand, yeah. the right hand. You I hope the they will. I that. hope they will. And they've said that you know this. I would hope so. They said that this may not be the only Zelda on the Switch. Well, it it's probably like, won't. I mean, if if the Switch makes it through a, I know console cycle is a real loose thing for Nintendo because they don't participate in it. But if they yeah, make they're, it, they're just on their own thing. Yeah, they're doing their own thing. But if they make it five years from now and they get to another Zelda, I hope it's. Like what I expect Breath of the Wild yeah. to be with really cool input. Well, we had Twilight Princess I and Breath of the Wild on the Wii, so or not Breath of the Wild, uh, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. Yeah, we got Wii, we got so. the Wii version there. I, ha I I'll put out one little prediction. I do think that we will see a Zelda remaster. within two years. No, no remaster, but it's going to be by the team that has been doing the two D Zeldas, and we're going to oh. see something on the Switch. Oh yeah, yeah, right. right. Uh, the ones that took that did um, Link Between oh, Worlds. God, that game is so good. Yeah. Yes, it's I think so I think we're gonna see that version of <clears throat> Zelda pop up on the Switch. Yeah, soon, sooner than we think. Probably next year's E3. I think Spirit this is Tracks Two. No, <laughs> I love no. the Zeldas on the 3DS. Yeah, that was. Uh, I that Majora's that, Mask remake that consumed my Ocarina life and then Link Between Worlds I didn't like the Majora's Mask remake oh so pretty they oh no it's it. a good looking game I felt like they ruined all the bosses oh the oh, only really? boss that they didn't ruin was the was it the the two giant worm one oh I oh, like that I like the changes they made in that boss battle but I felt that they ruined the fourth one. one that yeah that was the one in the whatever the desert yeah, oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> dungeon. Anyway, <laughs> those those two games, those two remakes for 3DS, would be great games on the Switch as HD remasters because they already have the framework for it. Yeah. Quit quit releasing N64 Ocarina of Time. Just make a 1080p <laughs> version of the 3DS no, game. This is a, that is the, that thing that, that I thought engine. of. Version. Have you seen and, that? And, and, okay, yes, that it looks great. Right. They do that every every time there's a new Unreal Engine. I love watching. It doesn't. It, it doesn't look quite right though. There's something with the animations and the way yeah, that things move. It's, it's not. It doesn't have that Unreal Engine. Engine what? Board. They put they put Zelda assets Zelda. in it. Like oh, a couple really? years ago, they put Mario yeah. assets in it. There's there one off. they did at Pokemon oh. Stadium, and they had uh, like an Espeon battling some and stuff. And it and like. It looked really good. Like you could see, like the fur oh, on SBI. I have, I have not was, seen that. You look it up. It's pretty cool. One thing it's, that it's cool. I was thinking about recently that it was, it was kind of disappointing. For the longest time, we were like, 
remake Ocarina of Time. We want to see a new remake of Ocarina of Time. We got the remake on 3DS. And when they announced that, I was just like, oh my god, we'll finally get the remake of Ocarina of Time. And I loved it. I thought it was amazing. Oh, yeah. But now we're just like, we're never going to get another remake of Ocarina of Time. Like, that, that's going to be, that's probably going to be it. Mm-hmm, like, we're, they're never going to touch Ocarina of Time again. Yeah, like, they've done it. Poured it. Uh, no, no. I don't think, think they it. No, I think didn't that they those... did they port it to the Wii U? No. They didn't? They did port Ocarina of Time to the Wii U. Really? No. No, no that was virtual, virtual console. 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 The game, no, just like the GameCube version. No, I mean we're not going to get the we're not going to get another remake of. No, Ocarina of yeah, no remaster. I just want remaster <clears throat> the control. That game is not age well. No, not afraid to say. I think I've played it so much that it doesn't matter. I I stuck in there. I, yeah, I, sure. I wouldn't notice that. Could I immediately <laughs> revert to that? I just I, I'll keep playing my. Uh, my gold N64 copy because that has the sweet, sweet Muslim chanting in it. So oh, okay. I can't give you know, I can't give that up. Graphics don't bother me as much anymore. Now that mm-hmm. like there's all these games that are pixel graphics and stuff, it's just like I'm getting so used to it now. That's never why I came to games in the first place was for the hot new. Well, graphics. it wasn't until I started playing Final Fantasy games. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "True, oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> Alright, I think it's a good place to wrap it up. Sure. Yeah. Brian, what do you do when we're not doing this shit? Um, I got my YouTube channel, uh, Luigi's Apartment. It's Luigi. Uh, I think, uh, hopefully, I'll have up, uh, we played some Smash Brothers last week. Oh yeah, yeah I'm excited uh, to see that. I and, got beat. Uh, I mean, no, it, it was pretty even. I'm not uh, good at that one. <laughs> I mean, that that, uh, that GIMP controller was making its way around the room. Yeah, we were playing with old N64 controllers. So. And I've got I've got a really bad one in the batch. So. I don't remember which I've got, like, five of them, so I don't know why we kept that one out. <laughs> just... I did my, my shout casting debut on that. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you, you, should, you should get in contact with Evo, man. You yeah, know, yeah. Pretty good at... Uh... Yeah, you can just check that out when he gets it up. Yeah, Good commentary. <laughs> uh, also, a little bit of a uh, Choo Choo Rocket too. Played. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, I came I late on that one. That. I didn't join that. I, yeah, well, we, it was kind of the uh, was pre-show, <laughs> so it's all right. It, it's a ridiculous game, Tyler. I didn't expect you to catch on right yeah, away. Yeah, they they didn't even really tell me much. It was like, you got to get these mice and <laughs> keep keep whatever. It was like here's like, here's how you control the game away. Like, like, cats, just just do that. And I was like, okay. I'm not smart enough to beat Choo Choo Rocket. Yeah, I'm not, yeah I was no. never good at Choo Choo Rocket. No, especially it, multiplayer. It's, that's not really what it's about, being good at it. It's just, it's insanity. Yeah. Tyler, where can people find you? I'm on YouTube as well as The Nano Boost and Twitter at TyTy underscore. Dean, do you have anything to plug? Uh, yeah, if you want to find me, you can find me at my desk playing video games. <laughs> Just screaming his pants. Screaming at RE7. Hi- hiding under my desk. Yeah. <laughs> I would be. Just reaching up every now and then to like press the forward arrow key and go, okay, Is it gone? Yeah. A, little more, a little bit more. I'd be W, my roommate. w- oh, yeah, That's immersion right A-S-D, there. Yeah. <laughs> But in general, you can find Just Another Video Game Podcast on Twitter at JAVG Podcast, where you can send us questions. Maybe we'll bring them up on the show. Hell yeah. If that ever happens. You can also uh, find us on iTunes if you're watching this on YouTube at Just Another Video Game Podcast. If you're listening to this, the audio version on iTunes or Google Play or Stitcher or Player FM or wherever else I have this show on you can find it on youtube at just another video game podcast do you have a non-audio version no there's no cameras if that's what you're looking for I no mean, but i make, I I make on. you know i make the i make a video version by putting a picture over it all that uh, makes it a video i get it i mean i have a camera in here but you know that's just for me <laughs> that's for later <laughs> okay see you guys <laughs> Dean, thanks for joining us. Yeah. It was great. Thanks for having me, guys. Always great to have you on here. And we will see you all next time. Bye.